Quite a remarkable construction for saying when it was built. And it gives you some idea of length, look. Hi, good morning and welcome to today's video. We're out in the Leicestershire village of Ashford B and I'm out with my partner in crime here and we're trying we're trying a different way of, uh, of, of trying to get some recording from you aren't we? Mm -hmm. so, You've got a little fluffy thing that you're not quite happy with stuck it's at the front of your... Very, uh, very tickly. Yeah, yeah. So today's plan is we're up and out early again. Not as early as when I went up to uh, the Peak District, but we're, uh, we're out today to go to the... Well, is it Welling? Welland. Welland. The Welland... Welland Vo Valley Viaduct. Mm -hmm. The Welland Valley Viaduct, yes. So... It's supposedly the longest freestanding brick-built viaduct in the whole country. And we thought we'd just go and check it out. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. I'm following you. My sat nav has been playing up this morning. <sighs> Yesterday afternoon we very very quickly put a uh, circular route up and uh, I'm not going to show you the whole route from our house all the way around uh, Leicester but basically we're riding around the city of Leicester today and um, hopefully we've got some interesting roads hopefully we'll put the drone up when we get to the viaduct although that was nearly a big miss wasn't it this morning <laughs> it was yes who forgot it? Well, I thought you'd got it. <laughs> I thought you'd got it, since yeah. you've got the uh, top box on. Yeah. I knew it wasn't in the top box, because I was just sorting out food for the top box for breakfast. Yeah. Oh well, we returned for it, didn't we? Well, I did. <laughs> you did, alright. We're in the lovely little village of Great Dolby. Moulton Mowbray, uh, four miles to the left. There are some fantastic roads out this way, aren't they? Mm, I love this We're road. actually on one of our favourite roads now, aren't we? Mm, I think this was the first road that, so uh, after I'd started learning. We came out for a ride when I got the 125 and I think I ended up just grinning ear to ear. <laughs> just, it was uh, a great experience, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Kind of realised what biking was about, I think, on this road. Now we are approaching what I would class as one of the greatest roads in the area, down here. It really is twisty, turny, just a mega road when it's not too busy. Mm. Kind of on the way to Market Harbour, aren't we? Yeah. turn off it though shortly mm. or we'll get too engrossed mm. 
Tilton on the hill sounds a nice place to live, doesn't it? It does, yes. yes. I think we want to go left up here, don't we? That's it. Oakham Road rings a bell from the maps last night. <sighs> Great view. Hmm. All the farmers are complaining, aren't they? Uh, drought. It's not rain, does it? For uh, uh, not a month rain and for half. the best part of a month, month and a half. Yeah. It rained we, all the time in February. Yeah. All flooded. Yeah. And then nothing. Because we're big fans of. Uh, Harry's garage, aren't we, in Harry Metcalf? Yes. And he does a uh, he does another channel called Harry's Farm, mm. and it's really interesting, isn't it? Yeah, watching that watching last night. that last night, and uh, yeah, it's difficult. It's going to be a difficult year, for farmers, I think. Really difficult, yeah, because he was flooded out February, mm. and now everything's just parched. an issue for you soon if it don't rain because the grass won't be growing. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to give away complete what I do, but uh, I do mow a lot of grass, so uh, yes, for my living. So, uh, soon be joining everybody else not working. <laughs> Signposted 17th century in. Not much good though when you can't go in. Everywhere shut. Everywhere shut. <laughs> Do you feel sorry for the pubs though? Some of them are going to go bust, aren't they? It's hard, it's hard anyway. That must be it. Looks old. Any idea where we are at the moment? Uh, Braunston or something, isn't it? Braunston. Braunston looks quite nice, doesn't it? It's beautiful, yeah. It's a really old building. Look at that. Chapter form. Looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, like how, I like how most of the main roads are 50s around here, aren't they? And then you get a little tiny road like this. It's a 60. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to be doing 60 down here, do you? No. Everywhere still looks pretty green and lush considering it hasn't rained. Well it does, and it does when you compare it to countries like Gran Canaria. Yeah. I mean, uh, every year we went there in uh, this November, December, December, mm. and uh, the last couple of years we went there, it was looking absolutely parched, wasn't mm. it? We've had fires and all sorts of things. Yeah, they did, yeah. to say feel for those guys over there mm. Joy and Martin they've been under even more strict lockdown over there than uh, than we have over here and uh, they've not been able to run their business at all I mean they weren't even allowed out of the apartment to do exercise no it's ridiculous just absolutely the only ridiculous. reason they could go out was for shopping and yeah. medical reasons yeah There. Beautiful, lovely. I, mean, I suppose even if we don't make it over to Spain this year, uh, there's a lot of England still to explore, isn't there? Oh yeah. We are hoping it's going to be on though, aren't we? Spain. Yeah, I think uh, they're talking about July, aren't they? Saying that you'll be able to go without the quarantine two weeks so hopefully I mean, yeah. there's no point going if we've got a quarantine for two weeks afterwards because I won't be able to work so I can't take that much time off work so it's got to be lifted before we go. Now yeah, we're very so. hopeful we're going to make it back to the PCOS mm. but we just got our fingers crossed at the moment haven't we? Mm -hmm. Oh blimey! <laughs> you, you can you could get that badly wrong Just at speaking. Just couldn't see yeah. the record, yeah. <laughs> It's beautiful around here. Oh, isn't it just... 
just really in the middle of nowhere, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Just farming land. And the odd random person walking walking around. Confusing? Well slightly confusing, well no. Mm. Joining the A6003. We don't, yeah, <laughs> leaving it again. We don't like A roads much, do we? No, that's avoided. It's okay if you got a sports bike in on and go really quick, but we're uh, we're having a bimble. Mm -hmm. We've actually bought breakfast with us today, haven't we? We have bacon and egg sandwiches. Lovely coffee. Hopefully there will be a spot near the viaduct. I hope so. So we've got to watch out for wildlife diving out the hedges at you. I haven't managed to hit a sparrow on the way here, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I think it dazed it more than anything else. It landed in my lap then uh, we stopped and I couldn't find it. So <laughs> I think it might have been alright. You convince yourself. Yeah. Apparently Glaston, whatever Glaston is, is one mile this way. Seems I like the noise my bike makes. That's why I drive it along in first and second along. And then you wonder why you run out of fuel after 100 <laughs> miles, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do, don't I? Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can do this trip in one fill up Yeah, we, we had a look on the sat-nav and uh, it's a round trip of 116 miles today. And uh, that'll be a tester. This sort of pace should do it. Mm, so. Although you know you're not you're not at your best, most economic, are you? Along no. country lanes like this in first and second. Stopping and starting. No. It does its best mileage on a motorway on cruise control. Probably do 130 then, wouldn't it? That's when you're not in charge of the throttle. The bike is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Being very restrained today. Oh, another pigeon. Another pigeon, nearly. This viaduct is the biggest in Britain. It should be visible soon, shouldn't it? We're only a mile and a half away from it. It's in a valley though, isn't it? I suppose by its nature it's in a valley, isn't it? Mm. It's not necessarily the biggest, it's the longest. So it's not especially tall, is it? There's taller viaducts. Yeah. A beacon. Oh yeah. Is that what they stick a load of uh, mm. wood in? Mm. Why do they have them burning them? They had them for a millennium and stuff, didn't they? Where they were it was burning. the ancient way of, of staying in contact, wasn't mm. it? Stick a, a burning beacon on the top of a big hill. Mm. Straight over this road, do you agree? Yeah. That's the I don't look. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. Yes. Harringworth, one mile. There it is, folks. If you can just see it away in the distance. Get a bit closer. You can never see much with a GoPro at long distance, can you? No. There she be. Quite a feat of engineering, really, isn't it? Amazing, yeah. Those, uh, <laughs> recumbent bike. Recumbent. Is it a recumbent? Oh, it's, oh, it's a hand pedaler. Hand pedaler. Wow, that looks hard work, doesn't it? That does look hard, doesn't it? There's horses all under them. Yeah, there is. Yeah. 
got to be somewhere here to pull in. There's a gateway back there, wasn't there? Yeah, I might turn around and come back to that. Yeah. Although, you get a better view from the side. So. It's amazing. It looks amazing, yeah, doesn't it? It's pulling over here. Yeah, so we can get the bikes to stand up there. Well, there it is anyway. Oh well, guys, apparently this viaduct is 1,275 yards or 1,166 meters long. It's got 82 arches and each arch is 40 feet or 12 meters span. It's, a long, it's the longest masonry viaduct across a valley in the United Kingdom and it was built by contractor Lucas and Aird and was completed in 1878. And it's now a grade two listed building. I didn't even know you could have a bridge as a building, but you know, it is. The Wellham Viaduct is on the Oakham to Kettering line between Corby and Manton Junction, where it joins the Leicester to Peterborough line. The line is generally used by freight trains, steam specials. In early 2009, a single a daily passenger service was introduced by East Midlands trains between Melton Mowbray and St Pancras via Corby, the first regular passenger service to operate across the viaduct since 1960s. The viaduct is, a, is on a diversionary route for East Midlands Railway using the Midland mainline route. <laughs> the viaduct is said to contain 30 million bricks. Well, that's your Wikipedia fact of the viaduct. Well guys, that was a great stop. We just had uh, coffee and a sandwich and it's still only just gone past nine o'clock in the morning so we're going to head back now but thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.